the baby grows bigger while drinking milk. When the baby grows, the bones in the body grow bigger and get stronger. Even if you cannot see from the outside of the body, bones are doing very important work. Don't you think that bones are just like hard stones? However, it is different. First cut the bone vertically and let's investigate it. The outside of the bone seems to be a hard wall. And looking inside the wall, thin bones are connected like mesh. This is very similar to the iron tower framework. If you join steel bars thin like this, you can create a strong tower that is supple and cannot break. Our bones are also structured in the same way. Let's cut the bones in a round slice this time. Looking at the incision, it is in the form of a tube. This is a very useful form. If you collapse this tube and make it into a single rod, it will be much easier to break than the tube. Therefore, the bones have the shape of a pipe, and are durable and light. Then, what about thick walls? When we looked into it in detail, we understood that this is also made up of thin tubes. A thin blood vessel passes through the middle. Blood flows in a blood vessel. In the bones, blood flows to every corner. Like our hands and feet, bones are alive. From now on, let's examine bones. Microscope it is a piece of small bone about 1 mm in size. Small cells move around the bone. They actually move slower than this, but the scene has been speeded up so that it's easier to understand. What are these small cells? Let's look closer. This is a bone cell. Do you know what cells are? Cells are the source of living things that animals and plants are all made up of. Our body is made up of cells. This is a cell. Each cell is so small that it cannot be seen without a microscope. If we arrange 100 cells in a line, it is about 1 mm in size. The big round thing in the middle is the nucleus. The center of a cell is very important. Please look at this cell carefully. It has divided into two. One cell has increased to two. This is cell division. Cells increase like this. By the way, not all cells of the body are the same. This cell is pulsing. This is a heart cell. Like there are cells in the heart, there are also cells in bones. Bone cells can be broadly divided into two types. One is the cell we have just looked at named osteoblasts. Osteoblasts work to build bones. Hey! Do the cells make bones? That's right. Osteoblasts make bones. How do they do that? Before seeing it, let's first talk about the raw materials of bones. What are bones made of? 
white concrete is being poured around the reinforcing bar. A strong reinforced concrete will be completed if the concrete solidifies. Bones are made in a very similar way to this. Collagen and calcium are the raw materials of bone, and with collagen as the core, calcium sticks to it and bones are made. Let's try animating the function of osteoblasts. Osteoblasts work hard with shovels. They will make collagen on their own. Raw calcium is also needed, and it is transported along with the blood through the blood vessel. That calcium being stuck to collagen builds new bone. Well, another important bone cell is osteoclast. It is much larger than osteoblast, it has many nuclei. It protrudes sharp limbs in all directions and is shaped a bit scary. This cell works to break bones. You probably can't believe that cells break bones. Why does the cell break down important bones? Let's think about making a thin tube shaped bone into a thick tube. To do that, the interior of the tube has to be broken and cut. Conversely, new bones are stuck to the outside of the tube. Osteoclasts that destroy bone and osteoblasts that make bone work together to make it stronger and stronger. Rebuilding such bones is actually not only during childhood. Even after becoming an adult, the old part of the bone is destroyed and made into a new bone. This is a study of how bone strength changes from when we are infants to elementary school students. To junior high school students, to high school students, and finally to adults. However, after becoming an adult, it gradually becomes weaker. Rebuilding of bones continues even after becoming adults, but the work of breaking bones is inevitably bigger than the work of building bones. So the bones become weaker. This is an x-ray picture of the bones of the back broken and bent due to the disease where the bones are very weak. Let's compare it with the bone of a healthy person. The spines of a healthy person are aligned straight with the bones of uniform shapes one by one. Diseases that weaken the bones are the ones that occur not only in adults but also in children. What should I do to prevent this from happening? First of all, eat calcium and other food that are good for the bones. Next, exercise well it is also important to strengthen the whole body. And let's examine another thing, especially nutrition which strengthens bones. Milk has diverse nutrients which makes babies bigger. While thinking that there were nutrients that strongly strengthens bones, we did some research and found it. It was a nutrient called MBP that is in milk. MBP had a wonderful power to make the bones stronger, even a little. This is MBP. This powder dissolves well in milk and water. When we drink it, MBP will go around the body and reach the bones, along with the flow of blood. Then, MPB encounters bone cells.
first, let's see when MPB meets osteoclasts. Since MBP is dissolved in water, it is invisible. However, osteoclasts will move in such a way as to retract sharp limbs when they encounter MBP. The whole cell seems to shrink a bit. Indeed, osteoclasts became inactive so that they would not break bones too much. Then, what will happen when osteoblasts encountered MBP? After a while, cell division starts over and over again. Osteoblasts are increasing. As the number increases, bones are made more and more. Moreover, osteoblasts will also contain a lot of bone ingredients, collagen, as well. In this way, MBP makes osteoblasts active. Let's review with animation. When MBP meet osteoclasts, osteoclasts become inactive. So they don't break bones too much. Conversely, osteoblasts cause cell division and increase the number. So, building new bones will become more effective. MBP makes osteoclasts come and makes osteoblasts active. These two functions of MPB strengthen our bones. Let's take a look at the graph again where bone strength will change. Our bones gradually become weaker as we grow up. The best way to prevent this is to strengthen your bones while you're young. At that time, surely MVP will help strengthen your bones. <laughs>